Yo, Mopar freaks, do you own a pre-1965 Mopar? You're going to need one of these if you want to do your brakes. Take the castle nut off and put it on backwards. And make it just about flush with the axle snout. This is to ensure no damage to the snout. If you end up messing up the castle nut, no big deal. You go to the parts store and replace it. You'll have to do this because not all pullers are the same. Some fit directly over the axle snout, and some go directly over the castle nut. And some are a little bit in between like mine was. And you'll want to make sure that the brakes are backed off far enough so that they're not holding on to the ridge of the drum from over time that the brakes have worn into it. Because that will just add to the difficulty of getting the drum off. As you can see, I was checking to see if there was any space yet in between the backing plate and the drum itself. USA baby, the one and only. 